Okay, today I have just figured out a solution to a, a COVID-19 problem, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm so excited and I can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. That sounds like a good song. Anyway, <coughs> well, yesterday I went to watch my grandkids. In the, I went out in their backyard and played with them. Fun, I have four grandkids who from age about two up to almost eight. Actually seven, he gets eight and turns eight in August. Anyway, from so four of them, two, four, six, and eight, close to that. Anyway, at two years apart, so that's why I know they decided to do that on by design. Woo hoo! No, no, uh, anyway, never mind. That's not my joke today, though I, there's a good joke there, somewhere. I'm sure there is. I, everything's a joke to me, except COVID-19. Now, there's a couple of challenges we're all facing. I'm hearing about them on the, on the news, and I'm dealing with that right now. Um, I went out and played in the every, t every year, this time of year, I get when, the, when this, uh, the pollen flies, my nose starts running, and I get a little bit of a sore throat in the mornings, and it goes away during the day. Uh, this is common for me. It happens all the time. That's another. It happens all the time. This crazy nose of mine. Anyway, um, everything is a song to me. I, I mean, that's a real song. I, but I've got 100 billion songs in my brain, so they sneak out. I'm sorry. I'll try to talk. Anyway, I'm fairly, I'm relatively serious about this. Well, it's, you know, I do get serious. But anyway, never mind. I'm trying to talk to you about something. Will you stop it? Okay, uh, three things that we suffer with. One, we're having a hard time determining whether we ha whether we have allergies, which is what I have, I'm pretty sure, or we have, but I've got a cure for that. You can determine right in your home in a very simple method. And at the same time, you can also deal with the social distancing issues. People are not gonna get close to you if you follow this, uh, this information. And neither will COVID virus as far as that goes. Um, uh, this is a surefire solution for, um, for social distancing, for determining whether you have COVID virus or you, um, um, brain, or you have, uh, social distancing, COVID virus. I can't, what they, I know there were three, but I forgot what they were. Maybe they'll come back to me. Anyhow, it's a surefire method of determining whether you have it in your home and, and also deal with the social distancing issue. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain now I'm going to demonstrate this for you. And, uh, and you can do this at home. They have this in your supermarket. You can pick it up and immediately diagnose whether you have COVID virus or not, and as per the news. And it also... Um, prevents people from ever getting close to you. And maybe the third one is it also keeps COVID virus away. So um, I think there's another one and I can't think of it. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll write it down if I remember it. Anyway, so here you go. Get ready. And now one thing you want to do when you do this, you want to have something to drink real close when you when you choose, if you choose to use this preventative cure or this. So I have this a um, very small glass of coffee. Um, this is one of my smallest mugs. I chose the small one this morning so that I could uh, could do this video because the big one, never mind. Anyway, so I'm going to turn the handle around. I'm going to get ready because you want to have something to drink right away. Ooh, that's, uh, you know, that doesn't look like something you want to drink out of, does it? Oops. Now, that's a little better. <laughs> That's not how I wash my dishes, no. Anyway, I've been using this this morning for a while. I got, you know, give me a break. Stop looking at stuff and making decisions and, and listen to me. You know, stop making conclusions based on observation without enough information to justify the conclusion. All right, anyway, back to this, I think. So I'm about to demonstrate to you. You need to watch very carefully because it isn't really complicated, but... You know, I don't want you to miss the... I'm going to do it in slow motion.
Now, if you do that, oh, ow, my tongue is burning. If you do that, I guarantee you nobody's going to come close to you. And uh, you're not going to attract the COVID virus. And, 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 and it's going to solve the question of whether or not you think you might have it. If you can taste that, which I definitely could taste it. Now, you eat clove of garlic every morning to determine whether you have COVID virus or not. And then you, you can go anywhere you want. Nobody's going to get anywhere near you. Still wear a mask, but they, you know that, that garlic smells right through the mask. That's not a problem. And also, if you eat enough garlic, it starts coming out your skin. So you, you smell like a walking clove of garlic. I know, I've done that before. Um, and so, you know, garlic has proven to be very healing. It's alive. There's no sugar in it. And um, I'm going to get into that sugar thing one of these days. I'm telling you what, we're the most ridiculously silly people in the world. We have sugar in everything we eat. I don't. I quit eating sugar. All right. Anyway, so here we go. That's my story. Um, well, you know the rest. So eat a clove of a clove of garlic. No, a, a clove of garlic every day, and then it'll keep the virus away. Oh my gosh, that rhymes. Eat a clove of garlic every day. It will keep that virus away. But it do that day, but you do. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>